Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Welcome to In the Field and thanks for joining me today. I'll take a quick moment and thank all of the subscribers to the channel and especially those that are supporting me on Patreon. Your pledges mean more to me than you can imagine and it's what makes videos like this possible. So thanks very, very much. Now today uh, I'll show you this footage which, you know, it's going to look like a lot of the other videos you've seen from me, you know, out of the ocean, it's sunrise, taking a few photos. Uh, this one's kind of special to me because it's La Jolla, an area that I photograph often in San Diego, and I hadn't been to this area in a couple of months. Now that's a lifetime for me in terms of my photography. I will typically visit this stretch of coast at least once a week, if not multiple times, because I, I just enjoy it that much. And you know, one thing led to another, to be uh, out doing workshops or you know, working on, on books or other projects. I just hadn't gotten out to this location. So I said, I need to fix that and decided to capture some video along the way. I thought the best subject to work with is this iconic uh, palm fronded roof hut. Let me get you out there and share some of this uh, lovely morning that I had in La Jolla with you. Sun's rising in about 15 minutes. Some good high clouds already starting to get some color. I won't have anything in the foreground for a bit. I think I'm gonna shoot to the north instead and use the hut as my, my subject for today. So there's the hut and some nice clouds behind it. Surf's pretty calm. I'm gonna find myself a good place to set up position this so I can get some separation of the hut from the land behind it. And uh, yeah, color's starting to rise in the sky, so uh, it's time for me to get busy. I'm set up now, the color's already rising in the sky, it's looking good. Shooting at 24 millimeter, F11. Uh, the F11 is really uh, between F8 and F11 just to get a good sharp area in the lens. That's where my lens tends to be the most sharpest on uh, this 24 to 70. Uh, the framing is really all about the hut. I'm getting some of the sky up in there but it's uh, just to maximize that element in the foreground. Everything else just kind of, you know, provides context to good color. And I'm just waiting for, uh, for that color to rise up. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great morning. So let's see here. I wanna decide between whether or not to include this little ridge line here or not. And I think, I think I'll just back out a little bit so I could have both options. I've got plenty of megapixels. I'll be able to crop that in a little bit. Let's pan a touch. No, where I had it was good. Let's relock that down. And uh, yeah, I just gotta wait for that color to come up. It's looking good up there. Grab one more of those. Quarter second. What's the ocean looking like back there? Okay, all things being equal. It'd be nice to uh, time a shot when I've got a wave crest coming across, like this one right here. That's gonna make the uh, shot just, just a little bit more. One more, one more. That one might be too much with the waves coming in underneath the hut. But, uh, yeah, that's the balancing act for this morning. While I'm waiting for the color to rise a little more, threw on a 10 stop filter to about a three minute exposure, a little bit of motion going on in these clouds. Uh, I'd, I'd like there to be more, uh, more light in the foreground for this type of thing, but kind of feeling it out right now with this first, this first test shot. So we'll see how it, we'll see how it turns out. And uh, if, it's, if it's looking good, uh, I, I may hang around here even a little bit longer after sunrise, a little more contrast in the scene. Could make some good black and whites. The morning's giving me about all it's gonna give. It's just nice to be out here again. That was definitely good.
So you saw that I tried a variety of things. I did do one long exposure and it just really didn't work. It just wasn't, uh, there wasn't enough cloud cover to make it very interesting. And so that, that experiment wasn't worthwhile. But what I found to be the most interesting is as I've reviewed the, the photos that I captured, haven't done any processing on them yet. But you heard me talking about watching those wave crests and how they were gonna be cutting through the scene in relationship to that hut. And I got a sequence here I wanted to share with you. That, you know, it's kind of right around that time I was talking about it. Here's the first one where that wave had crashed a little bit early, right? Or sorry, late. This was this was at the end of that crash. And so I was behind that on that shot. Okay, the waves start coming in. They're rolling through. This one's nice because it just adds nice context. And then this last one, I actually got the break underneath the hut. I thought that might have been a little bit much when I was in the field. It kind of looks nice here, so I'm going to probably work on this photo next and, and you know do something with it and see how that looks out. If it's not this one, maybe the one right behind it where there's just a more gentler wave crest through the scene and it's not competing with attention for the eye with this hut. So uh, that was you know kind of a key takeaway for me is making sure I had some secondary elements going on in the composition besides just my, my singular subject of the hut. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know somehow. Comments below are great. If you have questions about photography, drop them in the comments. Or if you want to keep it private, you can contact me through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.